Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Andrada. I do makeup videos and haul videos here on my channel and other videos like this as I am a makeup artist. Today's video is actually going to show you what's in my freelance makeup kit and I'm super super excited to show you guys what's inside it. I have some of my holy grails but also this video is going to be in two parts. First part would be this video which will be everything that's in my makeup kit and second part would be on what I advise you should have in your starter freelance makeup kit which will just be the holy grails that you should have and it's definitely not going to be as many products as I have here because you don't need as much to start up however I'm going to show you everything that I have because I love 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 watching these videos I love to know what other artists are recommending and what they're loving and also what I want to add to my kit so hopefully this will help you you see some products that you're already using or you might love to start using or just my opinion on what I think is actually the best on the market and what will give you the best outcome when you're doing bridal or shoots or anything like that before I actually get into my kit I want to say one thing and that is branding as you can see I am wearing a top which has my logo on it and it also has it at the back as you can see and I have a few of these t-shirts and I'm actually going to order a few hoodies as well just because sometimes it gets a little bit cold but I still want to look very professional and I want to promote my brand whenever I'm on shoot or anything like that so I would suggest if you don't have already create a logo or if you do have a logo create a t-shirt a hoodie it can be a jumper I'll leave in the description the company that I use to create these t-shirts because I've washed them so many times and the logo stays on so so well so I think they are super super good and they're also very very cheap so I'll leave that in the description if you want to check it out so I always keep with me a foldable chair and this one just fits really nicely in my car and also my ring light this one is just packed away so I offer makeup services but also hair services and I'll do a separate video on what's in my hair kit if you're at all interested today's video is just going to focus on what's in my makeup kit and I have a Zuka bag which I absolutely love and I also have one of these which I got from Amazon which just stores the rest of my makeup so this one just goes on top of this and it's super super easy to carry just to say I do have a car so I put all of this in my car and then go to jobs you can use a smaller bag which is what I had before I purchased this one which looks like this so it's just like a mini version of um, the one that I was using before so I purchased this about a year ago and I love it if you're a makeup artist you should definitely 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 invest in a Zuka it would just make your life so much easier before this I actually used a um, suitcase which was okay but when I actually switched to the Zuka it just made my life so much easier you look more professional you can fit so much stuff inside the Zuka so I love it starting with this if you're at all interested I've just purchased them from like Amazon or um, Aliexpress or just different shops and I've just added it kind of like personalized it a little bit I also find that it's actually really really helpful if I am working with other artists on set and they have the same Zuka bag I can clearly see mine so yeah I just thought I would personalize a little bit Mike Kiko also do um, little things like that so if you do shop with them they'll give you one for free when you first place an order or you can buy them as well which is a super nice thing to have so I'm gonna start by getting inside so again you have so much space inside it I'm just gonna open it up like this and this is pretty much what I have inside I'm gonna start with this right here so you have a zipper right here which I actually just have a few masks and I use this mainly for my bridal or if I'm ever on shoot and the model has super dry skin or I feel like it needs a lot more than just moisturizer and I have time I will put a mask on so I keep a few of those around I don't use them too much but I think it's a nice thing to have especially if you do bridal and you want to just glam up the service a little bit a mask is definitely a nice thing to have for your brides. First compartment I just keep some tissues and I keep some cotton buds as well so 
that's nice and tucked away in there. The second one, I keep my hand sanitizer and I have a MAC Cleanse Off Oil, which looks like this. Again, this is the mini size because I like it to just be very mini in my kit. And I use this if anyone has sensitive skin or doesn't want to remove their makeup with a wet wipe. The next thing I have in there is just a little perfume. This is a very inexpensive one. It's from Primark. It's called Desert Rose. It actually smells really, really good. Um, again, I think it was about three pounds, but I like the fact that it's really small and I can just tuck it away and I can spray myself to smell good, basically. And I have a another spray, which is actually the Jo Malone Honeysuckle um, little spray. And again, I just keep it in there. So this is why I love the Zuka. It has such a good compartment. Um, again, very small, bigger, anything like that. So it's very easy to kind of just tuck some stuff away. Like I don't want this kind of thing to be in my kit. So it's nice to have it at the side. I'm just going to put this this way so it holds this open. I'm going to start with the first thing, which is my brush kit, and it looks like this. In the first compartment, I just have my brushes, and the way I like to do it is just fold it, clip it, and then put it in so nothing drops off, and it works really, really well in there. Um, and I have all my brushes in here. I know some people like to use a little compartment for this. However, I really like the belt. I don't actually use it around me i just like the way i can see all the brushes so this is what i've been using for ages and i'm super happy with this system first of all the belt itself is actually just a mac belt so if you work at mac for x amount of time this will be free for you but if not you can easily purchase this from like depop or amazon i've seen so many of them in there but it's super great quality um, so I've had this for some time now and I'm super happy with it. So I have some fun brushes here So this or any of these would just be for like powder These would be for like foundation brushes. These are like MAC brushes. By the way, if you want an in-depth I'll do an in-depth of um, what's in my belt kit um, And then I have like contour brush some other small brushes any contour brushes here some highlighter brushes and then it goes into my smaller brushes. Again, I've got some extras around here. Flat brushes. I use these brushes for concealer around the eye. A few lip brushes. A lot of angle brushes because I use a lot. Um, and then like eyebrow brushes and eyeliner. Um, this one is for mascara to just kind of go through the lashes and separate it. And then I have some precision brushes, which is definitely a must. Um, these I absolutely love. These are my blending brushes. I use this all the time. These are the Zoeva ones. By the way, if you're seeing some that are a little bit like this, it's just stained, by the way. It's not dirty or anything like that. The brush does stain. Um, and then some fluffier brushes, which I like to like blend stuff out with. Um, I have a lot of these. And some extra brushes. I've got some clips. Again, these are great because it doesn't leave a dent in the customer's hair. So I use these. I have another um, foundation brush. I don't really use this one, but um, I like to keep it in my kit. Um, some scissors, of course, and some lash applicator. And I have some um, palettes as well to just put my foundation or anything like that. It should go on here before it goes onto the customer. So this is pretty much what's in here. The next one in here is actually hair. So I'll do that in my hair video. But the reason why I keep it in here is because I normally do hair with my makeup and this fits really nicely in here. But since I got the bigger suitcase makeup, I've actually taken what I used to have in here and then put it in there. It works better for me and then I can have hair stuff away. Again, this will just be in the hair kit if you're interested at all. But then I have four of these Zuka cases which just has my makeup so you can actually tag them and say you know skincare um foundations anything like that i've just decided to keep them blank because i do swap them out every now and then don't want to confuse myself or um have a different label on it but first one will just be skincare and powders and it looks like this i'll take it out one by one and actually show you what i have in there i'll show you what it looks like as well again just such a great color i find the nc25 to just be a great color to have in your kit 
I have an NW58, which looks like this. Again, such a great color to have in your kit. I only have three of these and I don't think I'll need any more. And I have an NW46, which is actually a great contour color. I also have two blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. I love her stuff. I really want to get Pillow Talk as well. The first one is First Love and Ecstasy. So that's the two blushes that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. I also have two from MAC, which again, one of my favorites. It's Peaches and burn pepper i love burn pepper especially on darker skin toes it looks beautiful so yeah this is a little bit more of a red undertone maybe i should show you a little bit more of a red undertone and this one is a little bit more peachy again as you can see these have been very loved and very worth the money i also have the nars orgasm blusher as well I don't use this too much, but I feel like it's nice to have in my kit. And I have the NARS cream blush as well, as you can see. I'm running out of it, so I need to buy a new one. Um, a few more powders. I've got the NARS powder in heat, which looks like this. Again, a very nice color to have in your kit. And I have the Too Faced chocolate uh, bronzer, which looks like this. So it's a little bit more um, of a matte bronzer and a little bit lighter. I definitely, definitely recommend the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is my holy grail and I have a few of these. I use it for myself, I use it for my kit. It's just such a great translucent powder. I've tried and used so many translucent powders and nothing compares to this. It's worth the money. You should definitely, definitely have this in your kit. I use it for my bridal, for absolutely anything and anyone. It doesn't leave any kind of white stream. It has no flashback as well. So this is a must in your kit. And I also have the caramel um, banana powder, which I sometimes use. I don't reach for it too much, but I like to have it in my kit just because if I'm doing um, darker skin tones, this is really nice to use on the concealer. I have a eye mask as well, which is really, really nice to have in your kit if you're doing bridles. In terms of moisturizer, I switch between the two. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different and this is their normal one. It never lets me down. It hydrates so well. It works really well on sensitive skin also. And I use the Total Moisture by Benefit. It's another one of my favorites. Really, really hydrating. It smells really good. In terms of eye cream, I use the Clinique Moisture Surge. I love this. I use it myself. It's very, very gentle on the skin. I like to actually use products that are very gentle because it works on people that don't have problematic skin and also people that are a little bit more gentle with their skin. So it's nice to have products like this that you can use um, for different customers. So that would be for the eye cream. I also have the Professional, which is the bigger size that you can get. I love, love, love the Professional. Again, I use it on so many clients and I actually use it for pores more than to keep on the makeup. They also do one in pink. However, I don't recommend that one. I don't feel like it does half the job that this one does. So I always, always go for the original. I also have the NARS Illuminators in Hot Sand and Laguna. I love these for a subtle glow. Um, also on the body, they look great. I mix it in with foundation for an extra glow. I also have this, which is a body shimmer. And actually, guys, this is from Primark. I got it recently and I've stocked up on these because they are great. They're also about three pounds, four pounds, and you get such a good amount for it. It's super, super nice on the skin. I have one for myself and I have a few of these just in case I run out of it. It just gives a very subtle glow to the skin. So that is pretty much what I have in my skincare slash powder compartment. Now the next one is lips and I have quite a few lip stuff because I love lip stuff and yeah I've been collecting uh, quite a few over the years. You definitely don't need this much but I'll show you what's inside. So in terms of lip palettes I have oh I have these so this one is the NARS one seven deadly sins and it looks like 
this so you have such beautiful nudes and like pinks you have a red and, and more dark tones so this is great for again a makeup artist as you're getting so many of them you can mix them up but i love the consistency of this and i love 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 these um nudes as well so i have that in my kit so a lot of these are mac and charlotte tilbury and just few other ones that i've had in my kit so i've depotted them and put it in these palettes these palettes will be linked down below as well the only thing i would say is i actually didn't say which one it was so it's a little bit annoying i know most of them because um they are mac ones and i used to work for them so i'm very familiar with which one is what but some of them i don't know so i wish i wrote down what they were which you can do right at the back and i'll show you just a little bit more up close but you have such beautiful tones again i like to mix these as well if my customer is ever looking for a particular shade of pink or nude i like to always have it i never want to say i don't have it in my kit so this is pretty much what i'm working with and I also have this one which is not complete but these are more of like reds and other darker ones uh, which of course I didn't have too many of them because I have them in liquids. In terms of lipsticks I carry a few NARS ones. Again I have some other ones which are again from NARS, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Maybelline. I have a few from Primark and these are amazing. They are such great pigment, they last forever. These are the nude collections and I have some other ones as well. They're very inexpensive and they are so good. They're very close to the Huda Beauty ones, which is why I have so many in my kit. Um, some MAC ones. This is a plumbing lip gloss. This is just a normal pink one. These are again by MAC, a few red ones, pink, nude ones. They last forever on the lips i really really recommend them some huda beauty ones um Too Faced, some more mac ones and that's pretty much what i have um benefit i also want to say that these are actually great palettes also i used to have these in my kit however i don't keep them in my kit for now because i don't reach for them anymore because of the other palettes that i have but these are the MAC Pro palette. Last one, yes, is foundations. And this is hurting my arm a little bit, but I'll show you what's inside it. So I'll show you the foundations like this. I hope you can see it, but I feel like foundations are more of an individual artist's choice. Um, this is what I like, and I like to customize these as well. So I have two of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love Double Wear. It's such a great foundation. I have one more shade, but it's actually run out, so I need to stock up in it. So I have one W1, which is bone, and four W1, which is honey bronze. Again, you can mix these with so many more foundations. But I feel like these two are pretty much the staple in mine. So this is what I keep. Next up is Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. I love, love, love these. This is not a foundation. It's something that you can mix in with your foundation or use as a highlighter. But it's such a nice um, subtle glow to the skin. And I've got this in a 2 and a 4. And I love them. I then use MAC Face and Body. And I only just use 2. And I mix it in with each other or I mix it in with any other foundations. But I love to actually keep face and body in my kit. For anyone that likes a very, very subtle cover, this is actually really great for like your older clientele as well. It just looks beautiful on the skin. The colours that I got because I can't see them anymore is actually C1 and C5. And this is what I will usually go for. These are my extra ones because... I don't ever want to run out of them. So I've got these. I then have, I'm just going to move this around. I keep this in between it so they don't um, smash. I have a few of the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof. I talk so much about these foundations. I love, love, love them. The only 
The only thing with them is that they actually oxidize, but if you do know how to work with this foundation and you know what color it oxidizes to, this is an amazing foundation. The colors that I keep in my kit, I'm gonna try and tell you them because some of them have rubbed off, but again, this is an amazing, amazing um, foundation. I have, let's see, I'm just gonna say them randomly. NC15, uh, this is NC30, NC46, NC13, I think this is NC25, again it's rubbed off, NC40, NC20 and NC35. You don't need this many but I love, love, love the foundation so I've stocked up on quite a few. I then used the MAC Studio Fix and I've run out of a few shades, but I've recently purchased a NARS, so I also really like those. The ones that I'm using at the moment are NC30, NC25, NW33, NC55, NW58, and NW50, and NW47, and I love these foundations. I know that some people really, really love it and request me to use these, so that's why I keep them in my kit. Then I use some of the NARS. Again, I love, love, love NARS. This is the Sheer Glow, and I love these ones. I'm also using a few NARS ones as well, and I'm actually gonna show you them because I know I'll pronounce them really really badly so i'm not even gonna try i'm actually gonna show you the other ones that i've talked about before these are the other two as well i also want to say in terms of foundation i used to use the bobby brown pro palette um this is the bbu palette i know you can't get it anymore but you might be able to find it if like individual people sell it or anything similar to this and this has concealers and foundations so anything like that i think will be very useful if you're starting out or just if you want something that's really, really compact side um i just keep some gum and then i have some makeup wipes uh some normal tissue paper um, some straws. I then have oh, just some hand warmers because I sometimes work outside or it's very cold. I like to have these for myself but also for whoever I'm working with. It's just such a nice thing to have. They're very inexpensive and I also have a few business cards to give out to clients. And on the other side I have a few things First one being my brush cleaner. This is by MAC, I've used this for ages. I absolutely love it. I have the Huda Beauty highlighter. This is in Luna. Again, as I was telling you before, I prefer the other one because it's a lot cheaper. I think it's about 30, 40 pounds. And you have to work super, super quickly with this product because it dries in no time. But I did get it, it's actually very nice. So I like to keep it in my kit also. I use the Skinonavia finishing spray and also the makeup primer and guys I always 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 talk about these I absolutely love Skinonavia if you watch my videos I use it in pretty much all my videos I rave about this I would recommend it to absolutely anyone I also keep a primer spray and this is just one from Primark. I actually use this to damp my beauty blender and I also have rubbing alcohol. I'm getting to the end of this one. I like to use it out before I change it but I have a few of these. I bought them in three packs. Again I'll link them down below. These are just some bags that you can put over the top of your shoes if you're ever on set just so you don't step onto set and have dirty shoes. I then have a first kit aid and just a few first kit things that I think everyone should have. You never know what can happen on set, so I like to keep those in there. I also have some individual eye drops just because it's not very hygienic to just have a bottle and give it to everyone, so I like to keep these. Again, I bought it off Amazon and they came in a few of these packets. I just keep a few of them with me at a time, so they are just individually wrapped eye drops. And... I have some more hand warmers because I'm a cold person and I like to give it out to people as well if it's ever um, cold on set or we're working outside. So that's pretty much what I had in my Zuka. This is my case now. 
I will show you the top maybe first. So this is pretty much what's at the top. It's not very enthusiastic. I just have some sponges and in these two I just keep my bridal kits which I've taken out because I'm making them again. Um, again, I'll make a separate video on what's in my bridal um, touch-up kit. So I just keep those here. I have a towel, which everyone should have. It's just a normal black one. And then I have this as well. Um, this is pretty much for my hair kit. However, if I'm not doing hair, I still like to have it because it's just a mat, basically, that you put down. You can put your hair stuff on it or you can put your brushes or anything like that. But it's very durable, as you can see. And yes, I like to keep it at the top. If I'm not doing hair, I will still use it for my makeup. This is a little bit heavy. So if you are someone that is carrying your kit, I wouldn't really recommend it. Just stick to a normal towel because you're adding extra weight to your kit that you don't really need. However, the quality is absolutely great. I got this from Amazon again. It will be linked down below. I also would have some tissues here, um, but I don't have any at the moment in here. And then I have some concealers. Sorry for showing you this upside down. Um, I have these, which are the MAC um, Pro Concealers in light and dark. I have quite a few NARS ones just because I use a lot of NARS. These are the creamy concealers by NARS. I love them. I have a few of the Studio Fix. These are the full coverage concealers. I also keep a corrector as well, the creamy one. But I have a yellow and red one in this one also. So that would be corrector shades. And I keep some of the P. Louise uh, bases because I absolutely love them. So this is what's in the main compartment. You do um, get this with the mirror, but I'm just gonna um, put it up just so you don't get any reflection. So I'll start with the top compartment. So bring it a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better. I have all kinds of mascara ones, um, lip applicators as well. I have these in my um, bridal touch-up kit. Again, I'll be in a separate video. Other ones. I have a mascara, Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, just because it really does give a dramatic lash effect. Um, I also have the Roller Lash, which is one of my favorites for um, people that don't really want that kind of like dramatic lash. I also have a brown one. This is again the Roller Lash. Keep an eyelash curler, the Duo Glue as well, just a NYX eyeliner. And I like this also, again, for like more of a special treatment for my brides. Nude liners and coloured liners, um, anywhere between MAC to um, NYX to um, NARS. Um, any of my black ones, again, MAC, NARS, um, they are my favourites. Uh, brown ones. And then I have my nude and pinks and more like reds. Um, they're pretty much all MAC ones because, again, I love, love, love them. Um, this one in particular is Primark, which is a really nice coral colour. And I also have um, some other liners, uh, NARS, Charlotte Tilbury. And I like to use this for the brows to highlight if anyone wants like a very subtle glow. I'll show you these after because I'm going to change the camera angle but I have different lashes on this side so these are all just like lashes. I have a lot of different styles. I have some individual lashes as well so this is all just lashes and my palette will be here. This is a shimmer stack that I love and you get so many different colors. This is by Bellamy and I have some palettes as well. I have the Zoeva blush palette which looks like this. Anastasia Beverly Hills glow palette which as you can see I love the shade Summer. I have some Hyper Real um, palettes as well. These are highlighters. These were limited edition by MAC in their Christmas collections. I love these. I have doubles because they are so, so good. Um, I have a random colourful one. 
Um, this one is by Huda Beauty. And by the way, I don't keep my colourful um, palette in here. If I'm ever requested for more dramatic looks, I will then put it in my kit. I have an Inglot one. This one you can customise yourself. Um, I really like the kind of grey and the chocolate brown. And this is just a lip colour. So... I keep that in my kit also. The Becca Be A Light palette. I love this. I've got one for myself and I couldn't be happier. This is the light to medium one. What you get in it is blush, bronzer, two face powders, but this is so nice and glowy. So that is one of my holy grails. I then have two of the Huda Beauty ones and these are my favorite ones. Um, you have the Rose Gold palette, which looks like this and also the desert dusk palette which looks like this so yes love these i also have two of the anastasia beverly hills palettes the modern renaissance which is one of my favorites as you can see this is pretty much what i'm getting and the soft glam also which looks like this so again, my very colourful palettes are not in here because I don't really do um, colourful makeup. But if I'm ever requested, I'll put it in. And at the end, I just have the colour wheel. I like to just keep it there also. Some nail stuff. And I just want to say that I'm not a nail artist. I don't know too much about nails. However, if you are a makeup artist and you're working on set, I would highly, highly recommend to just get some basic nail stuff and just have it in your kit because there's been so many times where the model has come with her nails not done and everyone is asking you if for any reason you might have some nail stuff in your kit. So I just thought I'll keep some very, very basic things, um, nail stuff, uh, like nail glue if um, I need to stick on any nails fake nails i then have some colors that i could put on the model if she hasn't got anything done again i need to actually get a black and a few more colors i keep some nail files as well and just some nail tools if i need to clean around the nail i keep some of these angle brushes as well if i'm going over it i can just clean it up really nicely and just some nail art as well i like to keep these you never know i might actually use it if i'm doing like a very editorial and i need any gems like this again they are very nice on the eyes but i keep them just in case a hand cream which is really nice to have in your kit also so i have a sharpener an oil this is by inglot and i use it with foundation to make it a little bit more sheer but also if anyone has dry skin this is really really good as well i have the bigger bottle and it fits really really well in here so i keep that with me i have the iconic illuminator i love this stuff i actually don't like to use it on top of makeup but under makeup or mixed in with foundation it's super beautiful and i also have some of these and these are just pots that you can put stuff in I have a moisturizer here so lip moisturizer and this one is lip gloss these that I have here in these two departments I just keep light and dark um, colors they are the NARS sheer glow foundation and I've just depotted these like that I have so many shades I keep them just in case I don't have a particular shade of foundation these are super beautiful but I like to keep minis of them if I'm ever, ever in a situation where my kit is not providing the right colour. I can definitely go in here and just squeeze a little bit out. But these are my backup almost. I then have um, other stuff in here. And this is pretty much my brow area. So I have my very trusted Inglot liner. The Becca under eye in light medium this is really nice for under the eye to really brighten it up and i have a few shades of the anastasia um, brow pomade so what i've done is actually stuck it with glue this one came off so i need to do that again so it's just a little bit more compact i would say so i've got this in soft brown ebony and i think this is <laughs> another brown i then have some benefit ones and this is in number four and in number two and that would be the browsings they look like this number four 
looks like this as you can see i use number two nearly all the time number four is not getting too much love and i also have the soap brows again if you want to do that february look or you want to keep the eyebrow in place i really, really love that stuff i also have the gimme brow you guys know how much i love 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 the gimme brow and this is in shade one and in shade three and i have the p louise prime define and this is in silver it's just like a very nice silvery pigment all kinds of pigments i have the mac mixing medium i have two inglot shimmers i'll try and here we go so one's in silver one is in this gold gorgeous gorgeous color i also really like these and these are actually from primark they are amazing mac pigments these are the mini ones i have another inglot silvery um pigment and just other ones like this these are just the stick ones i have a few others like this these are the steeler ones i love these on the eyes especially for bridal they are super beautiful and these are from mac 